Well, hey guys, how you doing? So, um, I woke up uh, this morning and I thought it was 2.25, okay? But when I woke up, I heard 7.22. And I was like, 7.22, what does that mean? I think it means the plow or something. <clears throat> and then um, when I got up, I was thinking, because I was going to take my dog out, and I was like, Dobby, it's 2.25, what are you doing? But then when I looked at the clock, it was really 7.25. So I don't know, it's kind of strange, but I felt the Holy Spirit, so I felt like that might mean something. Um, Cassie said from Faith Over Fear that it might mean that um, it's true that he's about to plow his harvest soon or something, I think is what she said. But anyway, um, I got another message today. I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He died on the cross for our sins. He was born of a virgin, and he um, died and rose on the third day. Ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people in the comment section because they're trying to scam you. April 25th, 2023, Ephesians 2, 5. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Galatians 4.13, you know that because of physical infirmity, I preached the gospel to you at the first. 1 Corinthians 3.5, when, who then is Paul and who is Apollos, but ministers through whom you believed as the Lord gave to each one. Colossians 1, 5 through 8. Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which has come to you as it is also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God and truth, as you also learned from Ephraphas, our dear fellow servant, who is faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, who also declared to us your love in the spirit. Second Thessalonians 2, 6. And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time. Jonah 3 8. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth and cry mightily to God. Yes, let everyone turn from his evil way and from the violence that is in his hands. Revelation 12 8. But they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. And here's the message. The lawlessness will be revealed soon. Rockets, my child, rockets, a mirrored image. Glass, is it a reflection or can you see through it? Don't be deceived. Nothing they are telling you is what it really is. Some of you are so deceived, you won't ever ask me for discernment or pray to me. You only lean on your own understanding. Did I not tell you I was the bread of life? So why don't you let me feed you? I am your good shepherd. My sheep knows my voice. They will hear me calling them home. As the trumpet sounds, the earth will shake. I am calling you up. Stop doubting my anointed ones. Their hearts are pure. They love me and my father loves them. My father knows them. They don't ostracize another human being. They don't scoff and hate people. If you don't love your brother who you have seen, how will you love someone you have never seen? Seismic activity is coming. The berating fog will destroy cities. You can't see it yet. Turmoil and trials haven't started everywhere yet. But lots of arguments, lots of quarrels. Once AI takes over, people won't be able to hold their tongue. It's going to get very dark and very violent. Looting, rioting, it's all coming. What you will soon see, no man has ever seen. Wake up, children. My door is still open, but it's about to close. Once my door shuts, you will die under the swords for my glory. I love all my children, and I wish for no one to perish. Why can't you see the truth? Why can't you hear me calling you home? My heart is breaking. So many are still under Satan's deception. You need to break free from it. It's like a yeast that grows in the church among believers and spills over in my children's thoughts and covers up the truth of the good news. Stop practicing lawlessness. When you are under the law, you are under the curse. You aren't saved by me and my grace. I took away the penalty of sin. So why are you trying to get to heaven based on your own merits? Stop boasting. I tell you the truth. That is the only reward you will receive. Please wake up. Believe in me. Give me your heart, child. I will save you. The drum beats at the hour. The restrainer will be removed. Follow the signs in the heavens. Look at the moon and the stars and you will know my arrival is near. The timeline of my movie, the resurrection of my movie, the ones you all are seeking and praying for. My movie reveals my true calendar date. I have chosen my prophets through messages. The end is near. 
My timeline, my schedule is on my release. You will know the true calendar date my movie will be revealed. Lights, lightning strikes, winds, very high winds, ice, lots of ice, acid rain, halo sun and moon, sackcloth, the enemy hidden, the evil one will rise. Don't doubt these words. Don't doubt my prophets. I have put my words in their mouth. The end is near, children. My hand is on the clock. Constellation upside down. Meteorites fall. Acid falls. First rain, then comes war. Look up, children. I am at the door. The gate to heaven is very narrow. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. Aurora lights everywhere. I'm calling you up. Do you see my pattern now? I am the only way to the Father. Whoever believes in me will never perish and will have eternal life. I am your Lord God, and I have spoken. Jeremiah 14, 8. <clears throat> oh, the hope of Israel, his Savior, in time of trouble. Why should you be like a stranger in the land and like a traveler who turns aside to tarry for a night? Ezekiel 17, 6. And it grew and became a spreading vine of low stature. Its branches turned towards him, but its roots were under it. So it became a vine, brought forth branches, and put forth shoots. Deuteronomy 18.9, when you came into the land which the Lord your God has given you, you shall not learn to follow the abominations of those nations. First <clears throat> John 4.11, beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Ephesians 2.12, that at the time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants. 1 Samuel 9, 5, when they had come to the land of Zuth, Saul had said to his servant who was with him, come, let us return, lest my father cease caring about the donkeys and become worried about us. 1 Samuel 7, 6, so they gathered together at Mizpah, drew water and poured it out before the Lord. And they fasted that day and said, there, we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel at Mizpah, Exodus 14, 6. So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Leviticus 3, 8, and he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it before the tabernacle of meeting, and Aaron's son shall sprinkle its blood all around on the altar. Proverbs 19, 2, also it is not good for a soul to be without knowledge, and he sins who hastens with his feet. Proverbs 14, 6, a scoffer seeks wisdom and does not find it, but knowledge is easy to him who understands. Psalm 41, 5 through 9, my enemies speak evil of me, when will he die and his name perish? And if he comes to see me, he speaks lies. He, his heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes out, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me. Against me, they devise my hurt and evil disease. They say clings to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Even my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. Revelation 17, 6, I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I marveled with great amazement. Job 19, <clears throat> he has fenced up my way so that I cannot pass and he has set darkness in my paths. Genesis 34, 2, and when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hevite prince of the country saw her, he took her and lay with her and violated her. Jeremiah 14, 9, why should you be like a man astonished, like a mighty one who cannot save? Yet you, O Lord, are in our midst, and we are called by your name. Do not leave us. James 1, 3, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Luke 4, 11, knowing that, uh, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Habakkuk 3, 8, O Lord, were you displeased with the rivers? Was your anger against the rivers? Was your wrath against the sea that you rode on your horses, your chariots of salvation? Ruth 2, 6 through 9. So the servant who was in charge of the reapers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. And she said, Please let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and has continued from morning until now, though she rested a little in the house. Then Boaz, <clears throat> um, then then Boaz said to Ruth, you will listen, my daughter, will you not? Do not go to glean in another field, nor go from here, but stay close by my young woman. Let your eyes be on the field which they reap and go after them. Have I not commanded the young men not to touch you? And when you are thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. Daniel 7, 3, and four great beasts came up from the sea, each different from the other. Joshua 2, 11, and as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you, for the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and on earth beneath.
Trust in Jesus, guys. He loves you. God bless.